welcome to my channel. I'm Roseanne. For those of you that are new and welcome, welcome. Today we're going to talk about 11 things not to do in the airport. But first I want to tell you that I am in New Mexico. I'm having my cup of coffee. I'm at an Airbnb and I am going to a wise woman healing retreat this weekend. And I'm going to learn about different modalities in terms of nutrition, vitamins, herbs to help support women. And I'm really excited because I'm going to bring all that knowledge in to my women retreats that I'm going to have starting next year with my dear friend Sally. They're going to be amazing. So um, anyway, I wanted to pop on and have my coffee with you and kind of talk about the airport since I was just in the airport taking two different flights and um, in the heat and um, just wanted just to go through some things that you should not do at the airport. Yum. <laughs> so first of all, this time is busy. There are so many people and so many people and <laughs> it's a lot going on. So don't arrive late. Take your time. Get early. So if you get there early, you can definitely make sure that you don't get stressed. It's super important. And if you're going international, you really want to get there early to make sure. I mean, you might be able to, to slide by and get in nice and easy, but the stress of getting there late and possibly missing your flight can really put a damper on your trip. The other thing, when you're in the airport, don't drink too much. Um, you can get distracted. You know, there's been a lot. I've been reading a lot of articles about people being belligerent in the airplane. And when you drink, you kind of lose your, um, your sense of, uh, you know, self-control sometimes, you know? So um, don't overdo the drinking. Another thing is don't wear a lot of perfume. And that goes for the airplane and the airport. Just really think about not wearing perfume or cologne when you're going to the airport because it can really cause a lot of sensitivity for other people. The other thing is don't take a sedative. And that kind of goes with the drinking because you really lose your sense um, of time and you can um, not be completely focused and you need to be focused when you're in the airport. There's so many things that are going on, going through TSA, getting through you know, to your, to your gate and um, you really want to have all your wits about you, managing your luggage, all of those things. And you know what's so important is don't forget to charge your phone because all of your information is going to be on your phone. You're going to have your, um, you want to make sure that you download the app of the airline that you're going to be traveling on so you can get travel alerts so that you make sure that you know if your flight's delayed, when they're boarding, you'll get notified with that. So make sure that your phone is always completely charged when you go to the airport and that you download the app of the airline that you're flying. And then if you have to cancel it, I mean, delete the app, then you can. But it's really important to have those notifications because they notify you. I have, um, last flight I flew was Southwest and they notify you when they start boarding. Um, Delta notifies you when your bag is actually on the plane. So those are things that are really helpful to know. And don't lose track of time when you're at the airport because it can be so distracting. You can fall asleep or you can start shopping and then you lose track of time and you're not at your gate at the right time. So make sure that you pay attention to the time. You don't get distracted by shopping too much um, and also um, napping. If you sleep at the airport, you know, People can steal your stuff and you can lose track of time. So it's really important to make sure that you stay focused. I guess that's the theme of this uh, YouTube video is stay focused when you're at the airport. <laughs> Make sure you always pack your medications with you. Make sure that you always keep them with you. Don't put them in your checked bags because you, if anything should happen to those checked bags, you want to make sure you have your medication. So that's super important. Always keep it in your, in your carry on as well as the other thing is your travel documents, your 
all your um, any information that you have your itinerary any documentation you have for traveling obviously your identification you would keep with you but all of those travel documents you want to keep with you in your um, in your carry-on and don't put those in the checked bags another thing that is um, if you're really if you're concerned about the food that you eat you can bring your own TSA approved snacks when I used to travel all the time like literally every week when I worked for a company that I had to travel with I I brought my own snacks because I just didn't want to eat the pretzels and the I just didn't want to eat that stuff so I'd bring a banana I'd bring dried fruit I'd bring my own almonds and um, things like that so and it's cheaper and it's also cheaper to bring your own food and healthier so consider bringing your own food snacks if you don't want to go spend a lot of money on the concession and bring a water bottle also because they have a lot of water filling stations at almost every airport and then you can just fill your water and you don't have to pay for a what five to seven dollar bottle of water which brings me to the next item. Make sure you drink a lot of water. You want to stay really hydrated when you're traveling. Even when you're in the airport and when you're in the airplane, just always make sure you drink your water. It's so important. Um, it just helps, make you, makes you feel better. It gives you more energy. And um, it just flushes out your system when you're in uh, the airport with a lot of people. It's really important to drink a lot of water. Another thing is don't wear shoes that limit your mobility. You want to make sure that you have shoes that are super comfortable. Like if anything should happen and you need to run, can you run in those shoes that you're wearing? I know that I would never wear heels. Well, I hardly ever wear heels because <laughs> I have feet issues, but I would make sure that I would always wear shoes that if I had to run, I could run. And if you do wear heels and you wear really, you know, shoes that limit your mobility, you're going to have to take them off and throw them out. So it's just something to think about. I mean, those disasters never really happen very often, but if it does happen, you want to be prepared. I'm all about being prepared. And lastly, if you travel a lot, don't forget to sign up for TSA PreCheck or Clear. They've been so, it really helps you speed through the line. I mean, it's been amazing. Even with a lot of people in line, you get through Clear. Clear takes you to TSA PreCheck, and it's just been a really great. It's just really great. <laughs> and I think everyone who travels a lot should sign up for TSA PreCheck. So anyway, I've moved so I've been really busy the last few weeks and kind of out of pocket a little bit and I've been uh, I moved from Southern California back to Central California where I was originally from and so it was a it was a long move and it was a lot of stuff and whoo it was pretty stressful <laughs> but I'm settled in there after this retreat and being here in Santa Fe I'm gonna um, go home and get myself even more settled and get more videos out for you so I hope this video has been helpful. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please like and subscribe. That really helps me. And if you have any ideas of what you want me to talk about, let me know. And if you have any ideas about what you don't do at the airport, let me know. I learn a lot from you and I really appreciate the feedback. It would really help my channel. So have a really great day and um, ciao for now. Bye.